Welcome to another tutorial for pastorblogs.com. In this tutorial, we are going to look at managing our events and we're going to look on the front on where the events lists are and we're going to look at the individual event as well. And then I'm going to show you how to um, add an event on the back end. So we are on the home page here and the first place you see events are right here at the very bottom of the screen. The second place you see events are in the upcoming events section. And this lists uh, all of the upcoming events. And then if I click on one, this is a registration event. So you'll see the event details right here. And you'll see a registration button right here. If you don't have registration or prices for an event, then don't worry. This will not show uh, when you add it, when you add a new one. And just for simplicity's sake, I'm going to go ahead and copy that so I can use it in the event we're about to make. So to add a new event, we go to the dashboard on the back end. And from here, we can see that there is a list here for events. This brings up just some of the um, some of the things that we can do with events. I'm going to click on events and it's going to bring up my events listing. Again, if this is your first time and you want to clean this up a little bit, remember that you can click screen options. I, I want to get rid of tags and comments and analytics so I can clean it up for the way I see it. And now this lists all the events. Now I imported uh, a number of events just so we would have something there on the site. So the first thing you can do is um, select them all and hit move to trash. I'm not going to do that for this one, but you can move to trash, click apply, and it'll get rid of all of the test events that I have on the site. Now we're going to add a new event instead. <clears throat> so we're going to call this the tutorials event. If I can type. I'm going to go ahead and paste in my information about the event. So like my synopsis of the event that grabs you, that gives information about the event goes right there. When I scroll down, we have the, some different options for time and date, location and organizer. Uh, we're going to say that this event is tomorrow. And we can set times. I'm going to leave these times as default. We can do the same here. We can select an end date. I'm just going to say it ends in, on the same day. For the venue, uh, I just have a venue here. We're going to add a new, another venue. So we're going to say your place. And we're going to call, we're going to say um, this is at 1234 somewhere drive and somewhere. Georgia. Oh, sorry, guy. Sorry, you have to select the country first. United States, Georgia, and three zero one two six. Uh, you can give a phone number or a website for the um for the venue. I don't really use those. If you have interest in using those, let me know, and I can probably uh, add it pretty easily to the single page layout. Uh, I don't really utilize organizers as well. You can uh. Just get rid of it. And the event website, what I mean by event website, this is the website that will be linked out. So if you say you have a conference that someone has to register for and you're using something like Brushfire or Eventbrite, or if you're speaking at a church and they have a, their own registration page, this is where you would put that. And so I'm just going to say that they were registering at pastorblogs.com. All right, you need to put HTTPS www just like you would you know you copy the url and drop it in there and then we're going to say that this is american currency and we're going to say it costs ten dollars a month ten dollars lastly we have on this side we have the seo settings uh, just like on blogs uh, and pages i strongly recommend filling out your seo stuff if there's an event photo uh, make it the social image url and we don't have to worry about excerpts or a discussion. I don't have comments turned on for um, for events. Let's scroll back up to the top over here. Uh, we have a number of event categories. I'm not really utilizing tags for this for, for our events, uh, but you can select a category or you can add a new one. Uh, right now, these do not apply so because uh, you're utilizing the page builder to display them, so don't worry about those. And the customizer, uh, we don't have to worry about this either. I can get rid of that. What we do have to worry about is um, the set featured image. 
And so I'm going to set, uh, man, I hate that picture. I'm gonna select this as the featured image. And I'm gonna scroll back up and hit publish. And what this should do is if I go back to upcoming, now my tutorials event shows on the events page. And if I went to the home page, it would show there as well. And let me click on it. And you can see my start date, my start time, my registration link out, and then my event information. Now, if you have need of something that's uh, like multi-day events or things like that, let me know. And I can, um, I can add that here as well. But what I found is that most people um, are, are more concerned with the start date. And I, I've also found that they add, hey, we're going to be meeting um, from this date to this date here for simple events. But if you have need to kind of expand the date and time type stuff for your events, I can uh, help you help you do that as well. And uh, this, as you notice, this is where the, uh, the featured image goes here in the background. It's a smaller area. And uh, there is a like a default featured image. So if you forget to add one, there will be one that shows up here as well. I think that's about it. So uh, this is how you manage events on your pastor's blog.